welcome back to the OVC YouTube channel. Today we are with our cruise ship photography clients that are currently doing the November course. Hi guys, how are you doing? Do you all want to just introduce yourselves quickly? Hi, I'm Chantel. Uh, I'm Dando. No, I'm Yangri. Nice to meet you all. Can you tell us how's the photography course going and how does it differ from any other photography course if you've ever done one or looked into one before? Um, okay. <laughs> uh, personally, I've never done a photography course, but okay. um, this experience is uh, it's pretty great. There are a lot of things that you're learning. And um, from, from literally all perspectives, it's not just photography, but um, all the way to sales, all the way how to run, uh, run gallery, um, what goes on in labs. So it's definitely incredibly fruitful. Yeah, um, this is also my first photography course I'm doing, but I've learned a lot. I thought I knew a lot about <laughs> photography, but I learned a lot. So it's really nice to see how they are doing things on ships because it's a lot different than what you're used to. Um, you have your own way of doing stuff, but on ships it's way different, but it's it's really fun learning and it makes me very excited to go. So, I'm excited yeah. for all of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the composition and that kind of stuff that they use on the ships are a bit different than I'm used to, like taking uh, pictures like per, uh, personally. So uh, learning how they do it and uh, yeah, like she doesn't only teach you how they do it on the ships, but also how you can different like in your personal if you take pictures in, a, in your personal life how you can maybe do it better or do it like in a uh, better way or yeah, that kind of okay. thing okay. yeah. were you doing before you did the course in regards to your photography background was it just more on a personal uh, level or no i was more on a personal level i was just taking pictures of friends or family so it's not I didn't do it for a business yes it was a hobby that I did like okay. I did more like landscapes and that kind of stuff I didn't do a lot of portraits um okay. so like our family like camping so like we we're camping taking in the sites and that kind of stuff so that's mostly what I did yeah. okay so it's more than a person okay that makes sense yeah. though <laughs> um I have more of a film background so uh, I study film cinematography and editing and then, um, yeah, I mean, uh, switching from film to photography, I mean, has its differences, but you know, same principles. Um, definitely, with cruise ship photography specifically, it's like a whole different, <laughs> it's a whole different ball play. Um, there's a less create, uh, less creativity going because you know, there's set rules, set compositions, and set this and set that. Whereas in film, it's more of creative eye, do what you must. So, um, yeah, it's, it's definitely like a shift, but I'm like, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's good. That's super interesting. I like that. And what was your reasoning for choosing OVC to do this course? Well, for my experience, um, it's the only company that I know of that does cruise ship photography. Um, there's not a lot of companies that do that. And that's very nice because it's easier to work with someone than just to do the whole process on your own. Oh, yes, so. I'm sure. Uh, uh, <laughs> for me, actually, it was like a funny story because um, I'd always, uh, I was working for this um, production, film production company, we were shooting documentaries and whatnot. And, and um, I was actually just talking randomly to the producer. I was like, you know, hey, oh, one day I just want to like travel the world, but then obviously I can't afford it because I'm still an intern. She was like, huh, actually, I know of a friend of mine that travels across the world um, while she's doing photography and she went through OBC and she should take uh, and she told me to check it out. And I was like, ah, pew pew. <laughs> 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 That's how I went about, uh, yeah, knowing about OVC, yeah. Uh, mine was a bit different. Um, I actually wanted to go work on, like, on the farms in America and that kind of stuff. Um, and then uh, the 
uh, I contacted OVC because it was like one of the places that was uh, advertising at the time, like you can do overseas work. And then she said, yeah, with my, um, because I had ambitions to start my own business in the future, the near future. Okay. And she's like, yeah, the farming is a good place, but you stuck always in one place working for the same people. Um, so then she referred me to the cruiseship course and I said, yeah, it's, it seems like a good challenge and something that I can be working with different people every day and that kind of stuff. So, yeah. yes. I'm sure you're going to meet many different types of people from all kinds of backgrounds, nationalities and so on. What are you most excited for about working on the cruise ships? For well, me, it's definitely to meet new people and definitely travel. <laughs> yes. Yeah, definitely travel. <laughs> definitely uh, travel because I have never been outside of South Africa. I haven't even wow. been in the countries inside of South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's definitely traveling for me. Definitely traveling. <laughs> yeah, for me, it's just meeting new people and yeah, also seeing the world while traveling. Um, yeah, and, Having being a great experience. <laughs> yeah, being paid for it. Yes, no, definitely. That's a good bonus. <laughs> uh, while you're down in, is it Stellenbosch, where the course is currently being taken place, what are some of the extra expenses that you are having to take on while you're down there, if you're comfortable opening up about this? Because for some of you, it's not close to home. You might have to travel every day or stay in an Airbnb. Like, what are what have you had to do differently to, in order to stay in Stella Washington uh, Luckily, we we both stay at a guest house together. They and, give you information, and luckily we are, they t take us to Stella every day, and they come fetch us. So yeah, there's not. I think the biggest expense for me was the accommodation. Okay. Other than that, it's not. It's not that. Okay. Same. Yeah. Same. Same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was, was a bit cost like pocket wise, but it's definitely worth it because they, they offer transport here and back mm -hmm. um, and food, like lunch, break, uh, breakfast, lunch, and supper. So, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of like when Koreana sends out um, the details to um, if you were set, uh, accepted to the course, they give you like um, suggestions in terms of like what um, guest house or, or um, okay. backpackers you could, you could use. And yeah, that's the biggest cost for, for me. Okay, okay. Um, I was fortunate enough, enough to have a free accommodation. So that wasn't actually my uh, biggest expense, but my expense was traveling here. And okay. then just to get two claws back. So that's literally all expenses that I have. Yeah. Okay. Because a lot of people are looking into the course, but they don't necessarily think of these extra little bits that, you know, eventually add up. So, what advice would you give to someone that's looking to sign up with Cruise Ship Photography Course or looking to start their venture as a Cruise Ship Photographer? Um, I think for the first thing, just contact them, um, get the interview, see how it goes, see if you're going to like it or not, because um, Koreana actually asked me, of, asked me a few questions and that actually makes you think of um, why you want to do this um, in okay. the interview and tells you what you can work on maybe if you want to go further. So um, just get the interview and then later on just uh, work out the other details. Um, Koreana is very informative in the form of what you need um, and what you actually, uh, what's your expenses most likely going to be. So yeah, just uh, keep that in mind and yeah. Yeah, well, I would say I did a lot of research to make sure this cruise ship photography is what I want to do. So just make sure it is what you want to do. And then if you are sure, then go for it. It's really, you will not be disappointed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for me, I would say, um, if, you, if you want to be a cruise ship photographer, you definitely have to be a person that is out there. Um, you have to have a great personality. Um, obviously, 
get your finances in order because <laughs> some <laughs> things are a bit, you know, costly. So like your medicals and your visas. So definitely have that in mind. Um, yeah, like, yeah. Also be passionate about photography because you're going to be doing it through, through and through. Let uh, photography be one of your greatest uh, passions. Mm -hmm. So yeah, love what you do and what you do will love you. <laughs> I like that. And how did the interviewing process go when you were first looking at signing up? Were you nervous? What were some of the questions she might have asked you? What stuck out to you? Yeah, I was a bit nervous, like <laughs> for any interview, uh, which is normal. But yes. I can honestly say uh, Coriana made me feel really comfortable. Um, once the interview started, I was at ease. I just, and she, she asks questions like, uh, can you see yourself living on a ship for six months? Because it's important to think about that. Yes. And yeah, I can remember everything, but it was really comfortable for me, the interview with Coriana. Yeah, Coriana is definitely good people, I would say. Um, <laughs> she definitely, like, because I, I don't want to lie, I'm a bit of a nervous review, um, but it's nice you can feed energy off. It's like, you know, calming in a sense yes. um she definitely does ask questions like that um how do you feel about being away from your family for a long time because if you yes. you know not close to your family you can't be away for a long time then shifts is definitely not for you um she also asked um like why oh yeah why do you want to do this <laughs> and um are you passionate about photography mm -hmm. is this something you see, you see yourself doing in the long run um yeah, those those kind of things. I don't necessarily remember every. <laughs> no, no, that's that's not good. Yeah. It was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like uh, the first thing she asked me actually is like, am I outgoing person? Um, because due to the fact that she needs to be uh, like friendly, bubbly all the time, um, you gotta get in contact with a lot of people. Um, yes. Are you like? able to do this um, on a regular basis or are you a person that needs your personal breaks so that's one of the things that she asked me that's the first question i think she asked me as uh, in our interview and the okay. other thing is why why did i want to do this um mm. is it because of the money is it because of this is it because of that and just she gains uh, measures you up like your personality i think um, based yes. on the questions so yeah it gets okay. a bit personal though. <laughs> <laughs> but I also think but she wants to know. Way. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, she, but it's she wants to get to know who way. you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I think I have one last question for you guys. When are you expected to start actually working on the on the ships? Well, the recruiting is only starting in January because of the COVID. So the mm -hmm. ships are slowly making their way back to cruising again. So we are expected to do our interviews with the ships in January. So hopefully okay. very soon after that. Yeah. Hopefully, yes. <laughs> no, if, awesome. it were up to me, if it were up to me, if it were up to me, tomorrow. If it were up to me, definitely. As soon as possible. And, um, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, I think uh, interview is also going to be going on around January, so mm -hmm. hopefully soon after that things will come together. No, COVID definitely. should be best. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so OVZ is wishing you guys all the best and we can't wait to see how this plays out for you and we hope to stay in contact because we'd love to see pictures and get feedback and see what it's really like on the cruise ships. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And thank you so Thanks, much guys. to OBC. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys. <laughs> thank Thanks, you so guys. Yeah. To everyone else that's bye watching bye. the video, everyone else that's watching the video, please remember to like and subscribe below. Thank you. <laughs>